Hey guys, Ray Del Vecchio here. Today I want to talk about whether you should build your client websites with WordPress. Now if you're just getting started with web design, you I'm assuming you probably did not start with WordPress, at least I didn't when I started. I, I got to know HTML, CSS, and really the programming li languages behind web development before I transitioned into WordPress. But let me start here with a few stats. As of 2015, out of the top 1 million trafficked websites on the internet, 50% of them, actually a little bit over 50%, use WordPress. I think it was about 50.5%. So you're talking about half of the top 1 million websites on the internet. They use WordPress as their content management system. Now, that's pretty good. <laughs> but the question really is, should you jump on the bandwagon too? And there really is a case for both, but first let let me do a brief intro on WordPress if you don't know what it is. WordPress, as I mentioned, it's a content management system that easily allows you to add to your website without knowing code. And it's built on an open source platform, which means that all the code that's used to build WordPress is publicly available and it's free to install on your host. So if you set up web hosting, you can download a version of WordPress and install it on your host. Or a lot of hosts actually have a one-click install feature where it's literally a one-minute process to <laughs> install WordPress. You just got to go in, click the install button, set up your admin account information, and you're good to go. Now, it's relatively easy to use. Uh, and I say relatively because I've seen a lot of beginners struggle with learning um, learning with it, but generally those people are non-developers, non-code people. Um, so if you have any background at all with code, it's it's pretty easy to use and pretty easy to learn. And it's great for small business websites. I mean, it's really great for a huge array of websites, but I personally focus on WordPress for small business websites because that's what my clients are. Most of my clients are really one-man businesses or you know less than five employees so they're local people that don't really know all that much about the online world and I build the website for them and I find that WordPress it, it makes it a lot easier to manage so as you can see here I started building my websites with HTML PHP CSS and I did a personal project on WordPress and really learned it through that personal website and that is what really you know, put me down the rabbit hole and got me involved with WordPress to the point where I chose that as my system of choice. So let's let's get into when you want to use WordPress. Now obviously, as I said, it's a content management system, so any content-driven website is a perfect match for WordPress. Now that includes blogs, news, tutorial sites, really anything where you're going to add to the website you know, on a on a frequent basis, whether it be daily, weekly, or even you know every month or so. Um, as I just mentioned, I do mostly small business websites. The majority of them are in this range, about five to ten page websites, where you have your standard home page, photos, services, testimonials, contact page. You know, really your standard website pages for a local business. I really love using it for that because it makes it a lot easier to manage and a lot easier to update you know little things on the fly versus going into the code and doing that every time uh, another advantage to WordPress is that you could have this base of content which is stored in a database and you could test multiple designs you could switch out your design as often as you like or test out a couple different designs to really see what fits the style of your website and your business the other cool thing about WordPress is since it's open source, everybody, a lot of code developers and web developers will add functionality to WordPress's core system and they're called plugins. So you could download plugins that do any number of things. For instance, there's plugins that add a forum to your website. There's plugins that will add contact forms to your website. There's plugins that add social media share buttons and social media icons. Um, and I mean, there's plugins for literally almost anything you could think of that you would want to do with your website. So WordPress really has a ton of functionality built in outside of the core software. And that's, that makes it really, really nice. 
So if you want to see examples of WordPress websites, you can go to this link right here, wordpress.org slash showcase, and you'll see they show you the, you know, a lot of great examples of different, um, you know, industries, different websites for different industries. So now that we know when to use WordPress, what are some examples when we shouldn't use WordPress, where it's not a good fit? The, the most obvious example um, would be a custom web app, like say something like Twitter.com. You know, that's an elaborate website and, uh, you know, web app that needs a lot more functionality outside of the content management that WordPress prov provides. So that's not a good match. You would generally want to use some type of code framework like uh, Code Igniter or Ruby on Rails if you want to do a custom web app. Now, another example is major e-commerce websites. Now, as I said before, WordPress has a ton of plugins and there is e-commerce plugins, but if your entire business is centered around e-commerce and you have a lot of products, like say you have over 100 products, WordPress probably is not the best option for you. Um, another example is just a simple website, a one to two page website that you don't think you're going to update a lot in the future. You know, if you're not going to, if you're not going to change it frequently, then WordPress is a little bit of overkill, especially for a small website. So landing pages, squeeze pages, or just simple one or two page brochure type websites are better off, um, you know, just done in HTML and CSS. Uh, so the last two examples I have here are fully custom designs and photo heavy and video heavy websites. I think both of them kind of can go together because a lot of times photo and video heavy websites are really creative sites where you want a fully custom design built around it. Um, and in addition to that, you know, even though WordPress does have a, a media center or I'm sorry, a media gallery where you can store any files that you upload, whether it be pictures or videos, it's not particularly optimized for sites that have just photos or just videos. So those are a couple examples and really when it comes down to it you gotta get in the dirt and you gotta use it. Once you use it and once you test out a few cases um, then you'll be able to understand its limitations or what you can do with it. And a lot of times you might wanna you might wanna have a conversation with a client or somebody that's interested in putting together a website and tell them that you'll look into it. You might not want to give them a quote right away or say you can or can't do it. You might want to say, I'll look into it, spend an hour, and see if it can be done. Because a lot of times you're going to be surprised at what you can do with WordPress. You might think something is going to take two or three hours of custom coding. And you know, lo and behold, you find a plugin that does it in five minutes. So that, that's kind of the beauty of WordPress. That's what I like about it. And on that note, I want to, <laughs> I want to just reiterate why I love WordPress because as I said it's it's easy to learn it's easy to customize the theme there's tons of professional themes that are already available for you so what I like to do is download a professional theme and then customize it for my client using HTML CSS or PHP so it definitely helps to know all that but you don't need to know it for WordPress it's also easier to manage your content so if you're gonna continuously add new pages to your site, maybe new case studies, you want to update uh, services, or you want to update you know, a client's page, reviews, any of that, you can manage your content way easier with WordPress versus doing it just with HTML. And then to finish up, obviously, I mentioned this multiple times, and I'm going to hit on it again. WordPress makes it really, really easy to extend the functionality of your website so you can add all these really cool features and maybe even go over the top, add a, few, add a few features that a client doesn't request. That way they might be blown away and they're going to really, really like you and have a lot of trust with you after you take the extra time to build features that you didn't talk about into their website that you think are going to help them. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something about WordPress today and maybe got excited enough to go out there and try it. You know, I I really um, downloaded WordPress on a hunch probably four or five years ago based on some things I was reading in forums. And honestly, I fell in love with it in terms of using it to build websites. So I'd like to know 
you know, if you've used it before, what do you like best about WordPress? What's the feature or what's the thing that impresses you the most about it? To learn more about uh, starting your own web design business, you can visit me at WebsiteProfitCourse.com or find me on Twitter at Ray Delvec. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot.